Lord Brove or TK Edwards? Leave her in the lobby. Ah, guys, I, I'm gonna get a super bad experience now because I have a lever in the lobby. Okay, let me, let me show you how to play a lever lobby, guys. First of all, God bless that we're not eight place. Secondly, I'm gonna play a little bit more aggressively, a little bit more loosely. We're gonna take some more risks. Watch him take 30 damage and start complaining because no damage cap. Okay, damage cap actually is one of the things that they could fix. Blizzard could go, damage cap is gonna last a specific amount of time and uh, maybe like 7 turns or 8 turns when there's a leave bar. They could do that, that would be a good change I would say. And then people wouldn't be upset if they have like a leave in their lobby. Okay, let's see who we bet on. This guy is Tavern 1? Okay, no, he leveled. Agdi, I don't think you get the problem but that's fine, you're such an awesome streamer to watch, only love to you. I mean, I obviously don't exactly understand how you're feeling. I'm trying the best way I can, but obviously we're not going to have the same experience because we view the world differently. For example, when, when I was young and I wanted to play World of Warcraft and I couldn't afford to spend $15 per month, I wasn't yelling at the sky. I was like, okay, I'll just play a different game because I understood the situation. But... How would I feel if World of Warcraft was free and then they charge $15? I don't know. Maybe I'll be like as upset as you are right now. Because that's kind of like what Battlegrounds is doing. But not really because you can still play it and it's fine. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how people feel. Liar, you played on private servers for free. I actually never played the private server of WoW. The way I think about it is like if I cannot play the original thing, I don't want to play private servers. It's kind of like with uh, fake clothes. Uh Fuck, I wanted to bet on Reno. My bet went random when he's there, right? Rip. And now if I win, I'm gonna pretend like I wanted to bet on his era. It's actually hard to interact with chat while you're playing Barov. I should just shut the fuck up and like focus on the on the game. Yeah. Wait, I bet on the Reno randomly and then he's there one. Okay, so it is what it is. Let's go for frogs. I'm gonna try to force frogs. Before you had time but no money. Now you have money but no time. Life sucks. I mean, not really. If you have enough money, you also can make enough time. You just have to pay money for the time. It's up to you to find the balance. This team is going too philosophical. Let's just focus on like how to win this lobby. What's your favorite fish to eat? I like salmon. Overall. I think Sneed is better than Reno. Ah, complicated to say. Hi there, Duke. The Last of Us was really good. I didn't get to watch it. I also haven't played the game, but I want to watch the TV show for sure. And if it's good, I'll also play the game. If I find the time. Yeah, I can stream the game. Even if even if less people are gonna watch it than like in a normal Hearthstone stream. If I like the TV show, I'll play the game and I'll stream it. Uh Bercolini, thank you for the 24 months. But yeah, right now, number one focus is gonna be the new patch once that releases. I'm gonna focus on the new patch and that's it. 
Not really much on other things. Dude, who the hell do I bet on? This guy is staying on Tavern 2 on 7G. But his board was like garbage. His board was like legit trash. I think Maleficent might be better. Even though she leveled to 3. Okay. Will you miss quests? A bit? I think quests are the best mechanic that they introduced to like spice the game up. Now get on your apron and cook up a strategy. I mean, they can always bring quests back for a while. They can always bring them back in a rotation. I think it can be an evergreen mechanic that they can just always come back to if they want to. Baron is the nuts since I wanted to play Frogo anyways. LFG. LFG. Sneed probably better than Melee, right? Yeah, Sneed was pretty stacked. Quests are easier to bring back than bodies. Exactly. Quests and prizes, I think, could even like work together. Bodies are weird because you have to learn a totally different way of playing. With quests and prizes, you want to play a little bit more aggressively because you get a little bit of money out of like thin air. But it's still like you're playing battlegrounds. With bodies, you're playing body grounds. It was like a different way of playing, I would say. Also, bodies affected your hero pick by a lot. Like, if you didn't know how powerful, like basically, bodies changed the way hero balance happened. For example, let's say you think Barob is good. But if Barov had a shitty body, he didn't. But if he did, maybe the hero would be like automatically really bad because of also having a bad body. Also, every single time they release a hero, they would have to like come up with a body. Whereas quest and prices just work automatically. So that's why I think it's a mechanic that can come back. Whereas bodies is not really. And that's good, that's perfect, I like it. Is the ladder gonna reset tomorrow? Yep. Looking forward to it. Fuck, minus 14. That guy fight, please. Wait, if I get that guy fight, I cannot do my quest, because my quest is attack X times. Ooh. That's bad. I'm still happy that I have a lever in the lobby. I'll win this, okay? Don't worry. Maleficent is going crazy. Yeah, I'm putting my money on melee. I need Leapfrogger, and then I need Rat Pack. We got this shot. I'm not gonna take 24 in a fight, right? But the question is, are we gonna finish the quest? The quest chain. Hehe. <laughs> Would you like it if 50% of the games would have quests and the other 50% would be normal? Even 25% quests, 25% prizes could work. And maybe like 10% of the game's prizes and quests. Or something like that, I don't know. Did you know that if you use Disciple on Meccano Egg, you get an 8-8 eight, eight and a 5 drop? What? No way. That, that cannot be the case. There you go. Beat them down like Moti. Well, we got Disciple and Egg here. Should we try it? I don't want to try it because it's 6 gold. Too expensive. I could go blast again, blast the entire board. But I don't know if that's the best way of playing, because then you don't get attacks going. Chefs need line cooks, 
Edwards need minions. Are you on the gifts? I'm putting my money on melee. Melee is crushing the lobby. Without Frogo, I just lose, guys. I need the freaking Frogo. But I also need stolen gold completed. And only then we can do plays. But what I'm gonna do is like look for frog, try to spy in partner the frog, put the frog first, and then we have like the setup. And I think it's gonna work well. I mean surely. It has to, right? It has to. Yes! Big pawn, thank you for the eight months. How's your day? Great so far. Just chilling. Please don't kill me. Okay, looks like we're not gonna die. I really hope I complete my freaking quest. I need the quest. I need it. I absolutely cannot live without the quest. 18. We should get there. 19. 20. Good. Okay. Even if we take a buttload of damage here, we should be able to make a comeback with the stolen gold. Do you have a goal set for next season? Um, qualifying to a LAN. If there are any LANs. What if I just don't find the frog? Dude, what if I just don't find the frog? I found fucking Byron and I cannot find the frog? Are you kidding me? Dude, I couldn't find the frog. What the fuck? Like, how can you find Byron and not see one in one leap for the entire game? This is just bullshit. I also lost the bet. Unlockers. Maybe I should go Golden Hymen, yeah. So yeah, that's the thing with like goals. Okay, my goal is gonna be to reach number one at some point during the next season. I feel like this season was nice because I reached my peak MMR and I was like constantly top 16, top 10, but I have not reached number one and that kind of like bites me. I want to be number one. We might win because Golden Atramid is. It's crazy how powerful Golden Atramid is against Max. And melee is not as powerful as we thought. I expected much more from melee. But that's freaking good. Now I'm also eligible for dead guy fight. If you ask me? And now I freaking love the dead guy fight. Well <laughs> I'll take a 6 because I want to get Uther for my Baron. Omega Buster is fine. It's, it's an alternate strat. Yeah, we can go Buster. Fuck it. If I don't find the frog, what am I supposed to do? Cry? Do I go for another buy one? I could, right? Because I can triple the buy one, triple the... And then make the buster golden. Yes! Let's try to win this bet. Isera should be okay. What about Reno? Reno is strong as fuck. Dano Stealthy, thank you for the 25 months. What do I put as my first unit? Yes. I don't know what to put as first me as first as first unit. What if I get another Macau? So okay, 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 okay. Let's ping this room. I'm gonna buy the Baron, but I'm not gonna buy the Sewer Rat, correct? I'm gonna buy the Baron, but I'm not gonna buy the Sewer Rat. I feel like Sewer Rat is freaking useless if you don't get the frog. Now the the first place question is: if I'm offered the frog, do I still go for the frog and like forget about the Buster shenanigans? Why freeze? I already told you guys, I'm freezing for the Baron. 
I'm freezing for the barn because if I get golden barn manually, I can go golden barn, golden buster. By the way, if this was post-patched, the barons would already synergize with each other. That will be glorious. No, Freeze, you need to finish your quest. Bro, my quest is finished. Cobra is great here. Oh my god, dude. Maybe we just go max and say fuck it. Ooh la la. Yeah, we have to sell the Baron. Fuck. Selling the Baron is bad. I really don't like doing it. And I'm also wasting first position. But if I get another Macau, I can run Macau. I'm not freezing for Kangwar because you, you play Macau. When you play Macau, you can't play Kangwar. They don't go well with each other. This was a little bit awkward because we put so much effort into finding the Baron. Just to like, sell it. I know. Goldening Baron is more stats. Is it? It's not, right? Golden Baron is not four times as much. Like, think about it this way. Let's say normal buster is 5-5 five five and then golden buster is 10-10. Normal baron is multiplied by 2, golden baron is multiplied by 3. You can either get 3 times multiplied by 5 which is 15, or 2 times multiplied by 10 which is 20. So golden buster, normal baron is better. I wanna buy the baron because I wanna have both ideally. Would be sick if we land it. But if we can't land it, then it's fine. Do I freeze another Rattler? To go for like another Macau and another Rattler? Or is that uh, science fiction? That's probably science fiction. We mop the floor with this guy. But I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing on Tavern 4. Frog guy probably still wins. What happens if he mores on the dead guy? Morals don't work normally. If they have zero minions on the board, it doesn't give you anything. If they have one minion, you are guaranteed to get that minion. So basically the card just works normally. But against the guy with zero cards, I don't think you want to morals on them, yes. Good luck out there, Sushef. That's so many stats and like all these guys playing Leapfrogger. I mean, I wanted to play Leapfrogger like them, but... It just wasn't feasible at some point. Sometimes when the whole lobby is playing Leapfrogger, you should be different. And you're gonna win by being different.
Butcher. Only the best ingredients from here on out. Which one's right for you? I'm looking for a golden bar and I'm looking for uh, Uther. I'm betting on the Leapfrogger guy. I will show you how to play Frogs Ardeo 15 minutes ago. I did not say that. I said I'm gonna show you how to win a Lever Lobby. Please don't misquote me. Or are you a journalist? Are you gonna try to get top 10 Europe or you don't care about rating? I don't care about rating. If I wanted to go for top 10, I would have camped on my peak MMR or close to it. I just wanna have a good time before the patch hits. And then we're gonna go for the number one. It's weird that there's like no reward for like finishing the season on a specific rating. You get rewards for finishing the month on a specific rating. But the season itself doesn't bring like any value, any reward, anything. It's a bit weird. They should give you like at least a skin or some shit. Be like, okay, you played the uh, 10 games this season, you get the skin. You finish top 200, you get the skin. You finish top 25, you get a special skin that only people that finish top 25 get. Some small shit like that could be good. The highest rank I reached this season was number 5 on the leaderboard, I think, or number 4. And uh, points-wise, I got to 15,600, like a week ago. That was my peak. The one bad thing I don't like about this positioning is that my Baron dies before Omega Buster attacks. But Omega Buster is like so freaking big, he's not gonna die anyways. So like, I'm okay with that. It's insane how big I am. I'm so big, Buster might not even die here. Only if it goes into the Deflector bot. Um, that's exactly 19. Wow. Who cares that bastard died? This is fine. I don't want a Muro because I can risk tripling my mackerel. And we would not want that to happen. I just want to roll for Baron. Ooh. So now I can go Macau. And go double golden Macau, basically. Is that too risky? I don't want to play Zap because the guy is going to have Stealth Baron. If I kick Pop Bot, I lose a big minion, though. So, like, what's better to have tall minions or more minions? Maybe more minions is better here. I don't know, it's hard to say. I'm not sure if we need this many stats. Yeah, I, I'll have too many non-mechs. Let's just use my efforts to look for Baron. On a scale 1 to 20, how excited I am for the new patch. Let's say 18 out of 20. I am 20 out of 20, but I don't want uh, to be like all in, because then I'm going to be disappointed if it doesn't meet my expectations. But I'm as hyped as I could be for a patch. I want for the first time in my life and career as a streamer to do a 24 hour stream on the release of a patch. Not sure if I can pull it off, but I'll try. And before I'll be asleep after six hours. Are we gonna lose to the Frogo? Fucking Frogo, man. Kill the Baron. Okay. We killed the Baron in like a decent amount of 
time, didn't we? Maybe there is still hope. We got him. I got lucky, but we got him. Yeah, frogs is better than max, but I couldn't go frogs because I got no frog offered. And then the dead guy fight plus discovering uh, Omega Buster saved my ass pretty much. Do I just morals when they look for Baron? I think I should. Because even if we get Macau, that's okay. Or I can get module for like one of those. Do I? Should I? You can also reborn the second guy. Ah, uh, I might have to keep all the barons so badly. Okay, I have to kick the bar one. So I can get born the frog. Go on, buy a minion. Put that back on the shelf for you. I gotta bet on myself. Because I'm a bowler. If he cleaves here. Both of them are gonna get Divine Shield. I don't wanna replace Pabot with Module. I don't gain anything if I do that. Also, I don't want two Taunted Divine Shields. That would just bring diminishing returns in. I don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working. Oh my god. I was looking for Uther for my Baron. If I move Baron last, it still gets hit. Maybe cutting the Baron is correct. First bird, one bird is already gold and the bird positioning is fine. Yeah, I legit think you have to cut the Baron here. Just cut the Baron. I don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working! We figured on the wrong one. That's the problem with non-golden busters. The guy also delayed so much. Oh, 
like, if I knew he's gonna play six minions, I would have just left the Byron in the comp because the Byron would be worth it even for like one trigger. Was weird. Oh, what a weird game to win, holy moly.